All right, folks, so we are going to uh, install this Wi-Fi card by this company, which, uh, like I said before, in the unboxing, I cannot pronounce. So, um, what we need for this is obviously that. We're going to use our antennas. We need this cable. We do not need the low-profile bracket because this is not a low-profile case. All right, so... Uh, I don't know if this screwdriver is going to work to so take this out. Let's see. So this is a uh, newest generation AMD motherboard uh, X570. And uh, so I'm going to have my graphics card here. I could have a secondary one here. So it's kind of questionable on whether I want to put the Wi-Fi card here or there. Um, if I put it here, it's going to be probably too tight uh, up against the, the case for me to work on it. And I have to find my USB, uh, my secondary USB as well. So it's either this guy or that guy. Now it looks like this guy, JUSB2. So that's where I'm going to plug in at, okay? When I say plug in, using this cable. So... I'm going to go ahead and just to show you because it's going to be more difficult later. Put the cable in there now. I can figure out which side's which. I think it's this way. And it might be the other way. So we don't want to force anything. We don't want to break anything. And Okay, so that's in there. Now, I have to figure out which one of these I'm going to remove. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and take this one out. If I, I don't want to put it there because I'm going to have a huge graphics card here. So, we're going to take, pop this out. Hopefully, we're going to be able to pop that out. There we go. So, cyclic stress, okay, for those of you that uh, are familiar with that. And boom, pops out. Easy day, right? Now, before I uh, plug this in, actually the cable, yeah, the cable reach. So we are going to, we've got to line this up, those connectors with our PCI Express connector and insert it. So it's inserted. And I'm going to come back and attach a screw in a second. Let's go ahead and put this cable in, though. Now, you notice we've got uh, we we've got nine of these. One of these is plugged, so I've got to line that up. And this back one here is the one that's that doesn't have a uh, pin in it. So we're going to drop that in like so. We want to be gentle, not break anything. All right, so let's go ahead and take our take one of these screws out of here. Hopefully, these screws will actually work. A lot of times, these you know depend on the manufacturer. You never know what kind of holes you're getting. Um, so it looks like they've included two screws, and I'm going to try this guy in here. And our goal is to. Um, basically tighten down this PCI Express card so that it won't pop out later. And boom, that worked. So, uh, next thing we're going to do is turn it on and use the driver disk to install the drivers. Um, well, okay, so that's not the next thing. Next thing is going to be to put these antennas on. And uh, we'll do that. So this is this is kind of cool because this one's black and like I said matches my case. Um, the silver, you know, just kind of sticks out more. All right, so we're putting these in, and you want to you know angle these away from each other. Um, and we'll do that later. So there's quite a bit of threading on here. Eventually, it's going to stop moving. All right, so in the next step, you'll see me. I will have uh, 
plugged all this stuff in. Hopefully you know how to do that. And then we will fire the computer up. I've got to find a disk drive because pretty much no computer I build anymore has a disk drive except for the uh, the Dells and the uh, HPs that we buy for the channel. So we'll have to hook up a uh, USB disk drive for that. All right. All right. So um, I have the DVD drive hooked up, and uh, it is dangling precariously over the side because this company did not make these cables long enough. Now, some of the uh, this one works better, I would say, when you have the USBs on top of the computer versus the side. Uh, so it's kind of annoying with that short cable, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, open this. Hopefully it's got enough power. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my disc. So we gotta grab our disc out of here. And, oops. Okay, so then we're gonna put the disc in here. I'm trying to do this one-handed without breaking anything and hope to gosh this uh, will load up alright so I did recognize the drive that's good we'll just have to wait a moment there it is alright so Let's see if we have a uh, autoplay. Okay, autoplay isn't going to happen today, folks. Um, so this is always kind of interesting. This seems to happen on a lot of these. You've got these different versions. You want to make sure that you don't do 32-bit if you're 64-bit. So we've got. Wi-Fi that we want to install and a Bluetooth for 64. If you have 32-bit, you'll do that. I'm curious what this is. Okay, basically telling you the same exact thing I just told you. All right, so let's go ahead and do the Wi-Fi driver first. And I will, um, I'm going to skip the part of uh, actually logging into your Wi-Fi because I think you guys can probably do that. At least I hope you can. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So it's installing. And I did not plug the Ethernet cable back into this computer. So, um, you know, I, on this channel, I build a lot of computers, and uh, we've only got so many spots where we can uh, plug in Ethernet cables. Um, though I could get a much bigger uh, router, and obviously have a lot more lines, but it just, uh, it's kind of, you know, it doesn't look that great when you got cables running all over the place, right? So uh, I've got some in the walls, which is good. And uh, basically, I'm just walking through the installation here. Change repair lets you change the way features. So I don't think that I. Um... Huh, interesting. So, that was weird, folks. I'm not sure it installed anything. I'm going to copy this over to my uh, desktop. This is almost like it wanted to install it to the, uh, to the uh, DVD player. We don't want that. So let's try this again. Install to local hard drive. Okay, so it's, it's in there then. And I don't want to do anything else. So I'm a little concerned there. I don't know that that actually worked. 
let's do the uh, let's go ahead and do the Bluetooth All right, so there you go. Um, it was a little strange with the uh, installation, how at the end there it uh, wanted to do a change repair on me. But uh, there are my different um, Wi-Fi routers, modem routers, whatever. And uh, so we are going to go ahead and uh, get into one of them. If I can remember the uh, the password, luckily it's on the uh, the underside. All right, so I put my password in. It is connected. Let's just show you that you can you can get on the internet. Um, there's the internet. So I just type in Google real fast, and voila. So there you go, folks. Pretty simple. A uh, little hiccup there on uh, the installation disk, but. Uh, you know, it actually wasn't a problem. I just didn't realize it was going to ask me to change repair. And then when you cancel, it says interrupted, which makes you think it didn't install. But everything was installed, so we're good to go. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like. Please subscribe. All right, so I'm playing back some 4K video on my uh, computer using the Wi-Fi card that I just installed. And... In, uh, it, uh, it is definitely streaming smoothly. I can't say that uh, the video I recorded was the, was the smoothest, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, so, yeah, it can handle uh, 4K, and uh, so that is a, a good thing um, that we don't have to adjust the uh, resolution down. So we're at 4K. And, uh, of course, you know, any, any of these would run even smoother, but uh, pretty cool. Thanks for checking it out.